Who are you? Um, my name is Adeze. I, I came from... No, I, I'm looking for a work. I want to work. I'm looking for a job. Anything at all. You? Yes! It is you! Yes. No. It's I'm... you! Me? I don't understand. I don't get what... You think I will recognize you? I recognize you now! Yes! It's you! It's you! Madam, please, what's the meaning of this? Why are you, rom are you romancing me or holding me? Eh, yeah, romancing you. Madam, I don't understand. No, you will know. Madam, I don't understand what you are saying. Stop now, please. I came at the door for you. You job. came to look. You get the job. Give me the job. Let don't me worry me now. Keep quiet. Which one is that? You keep quiet. What is it? Madam, let me go now. Ah! Ah, this is no longer. Madam, you are matching me. Hello? You are matching me. Hello, Aj Ajibo? Yes. Madam. Yes. You know that girl that came to my shop the other day and stole all the phones? Yes. Madam, leave me now. What kind of thing is this one now? Yes. No, she cannot escape now. Yes. Madam, free me. Free me. Leave she me. cannot escape. Madam, I, me. No, 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 I'm with her. You. Just come here. You think I will not recognize this? This is the bag. Stop this is the bag. You are holding the other Madam, stop it. You are not going anywhere. Stop all this nonsense. What is all this? The camera has come. You're not going anywhere. But I've done this to you. Okay, blow. Keep blowing. Keep blowing. Keep blowing. Your day has come. You want to look for your job. This is our Yeah. See this one. What you have? Say that. Get up. Get up. Keep her! Where's her? Say, not leave her! I wanna try! Kill her! Keep her! Come on, See this bag! If not come back, we're not gonna collect the bag! The Prince of Mwezemazi plans to come to our kingdom on an official visit to see our daughter, Princess Oma, in three days' time. Hmm. Yes, I, I was informed by his father, the king, just this morning. I can't wait. Yes. Honestly, I can't wait to see our daughter, Princess Oma, become the queen of Umezemazi kingdom. That would be the greatest blessing the gods have ever favored me with. Yes. I am happy for this great news. Yes. Yes. Mm. Yes. And uh, by the way, where is she? She's in no other place than her chamber. Yes.
I need to see the pretty face of my daughter. I haven't this morning. It's all right. In that case, let me call one of the maids to go get her for you. Yes. Um, Aluchi! Where is this girl? Take it easy. Take it easy. Oh, please. Come in. Are you mad? Since when did we become roommates for you to ask someone to come into my room without my permission? What nonsense! Don't come in, go outside. You're a bloody fool. Come back here! Huh? Come in! Will you move? Greetings, my princess. Yes, greetings. How may I help you? The king requests your presence. Oh, my father, the king. Tell him I'll be with him in a bit. Yes, my princess. Okay. Bloody fool. Nonsense. What was that? Oh, 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 what was that? I was trying to cut the something. Cut what? Huh? Cut what? Little witch, born of a big witch. Bloody fool. Do you have anybody as beautiful as me in your lineage? Oh. I forgot. I'm my cousin. Rubbish. Just go ahead. Go ahead! Continue! Oh, here comes the prettiest smile. The prettiest, the fairest of 10,000. Ah! Shush! The star in my sky that shines ever so bright. <laughs> With an incandescent light glowing, glowing so bright. Ah! The only one worthy to bear. The royal blood in her veins! <laughs> oh, my daughter. Oh my, my daughter. Now no, you want to make me cry. Oh, no. <laughs> Good morning, father. <sighs> Good morning, mother. Good morning, my princess. Thank you, mom. My angel. Oh, beautiful Naya. Oh, mama, Saro. I hope you slept well. Mom, I slept beautifully well. I had a splendid night. I mean, I woke up feeling like a gorgeous princess. Yes, you <laughs> should, my dear. You see, your shining, dazzling, radiant face gladdens my heart. Oh, Papa. Ah, my dear. You are the source of my morning joy. Father. <laughs> oh, Thank yes. You. Thank you so much, Father. Thank you. Ah, my dear. <laughs> you see, the Prince of Muezenazi Kingdom is slated to enter this kingdom for the first time in three days' time. <gasps> He is coming for the first time to behold your radiant face. His own bride. I think that the moment he enters, he enters this palace and beholds your dazzling, shining, pretty face. He's going to fall headlong in love mm. with you, my oh, father. dear. Father, dear. I can see it clearly. Oh. A clear picture yeah. of the prince oh. holding me. Father! Yes. I am so eager oh, yes. to see him. Oh, yes. I can't wait. Oh, yes. I can see us. Okay. Hand in hand, okay. walking slowly, gliding, gliding, father, gliding, <laughs> gliding, yes, father, holding hands, oh, father. Oh. and gliding, <sighs> gliding.
Heading father, and you're glad, and you're glad. This is total unusual. From princess to palace bedding on the Zimba. You have taught her royal court. Ibeya Wamebu, a royal name. to keep watching. My position is forcefully being taken away from me. My cousin now parades herself as, as the princess of our kingdom while I'm being made her, her servant. But that this is not fair. How long will you and mother watch? How long will you keep watching while everything you've ever worked for is being forcefully taken away from you? This was how they forcefully took away your throne and now they're taking everything away from me. Greetings. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Where is my brother? The thing is inside. I'm waiting the arrival of his new son, the two elders. Let me join them. He has to leave. He doesn't have to go the way of his brothers. Yes, he will leave. My dynasty has not come to an end yet. Hmm. Igwe, the great king of the land, the gods are with you. You have not wronged any spirit, nor mortals. You have not forcefully taken what does not belong to you. My king, you have not oppressed the poor, the widows, nor the fatherless. Therefore, the gods will not let you lose. my only brother. And as I greet you, fear of the unknown, anxiety, depression. They have beclouded me, as a creature. <sighs> Fear not, my brother. The light is here. As a creature has come. All your fears are gone. <laughs> what is that I'm hearing? Don't you bust up my son! <laughs> he lives! He lives! I'm a grandfather! Yes, he's alive! My son is alive! May the gods be praised! May the gods be praised! May the gods be praised! The eagle has landed. He has landed. The eagle has landed. Finally.
What troubles you, my husband? The same thing, the same issue that has troubled me for years. Your ambition? Yes, to be the king of this land. And my only daughter, the princess of this land. And see my only daughter married to the prince of Umezema and Zekenda. But you are close to it already. What happened? <sighs> so I talked until I forgot you were a gifer me. Fade you? How? How? But he has never for once fed you. He fed me this time. The boy is alive. What? My husband! You don't mean it! The great man of Umozome Kingdom. Aqua, stop the Helen. Aqua, you have failed. Blasphemy! Blasphemy! Be careful with your choice of words, lest you incur the wrath of Omaliko to yourself. I am just coming back from the palace. My brother's wife gave birth to a bouncing baby boy. The boy is alive. The boy lives. What? What did you just say? Exactly what you heard. That's not possible. I am Aqua Tiwara Aki. The celebrated chief press of Obaniko. No mortar challenges me. No. That's not possible. Aqua, they just did. The boy is alive. Adenze, my daughter. I want you to sleep with me tonight. My heart is broken. All your brothers that came before you, they all left. They left your mother and I. Even though Nochi and everyone was happy that he made it alive, suddenly he left like his brothers like a splash of the light at this my heart is broken your father is a man of many sorrows i'm sorry daddy thank you my daughter please sleep with me tonight please
You went out of your way to take your destiny in your hands. I am here to take mine. Whatever steps you are planning to take dies with you. My destiny, no one can change. Be married. <laughs> My son is here. Yes. The eagle has landed. Yes. All the Jay is here. I want to tell you a story of how I ended my 20 years of misery. Igwe, go ahead, we are all ears. We are in the mood of celebration, Your Highness. Yes. You can go on the story. After my wife gave birth to 10 male children, who all died at childbirth. She took him and gave birth to our 11th child, my daughter, Adeze, and she survived. The survivor of Adeze opened my eyes. I now discovered that what was happening to me was not ordinary. And to confirm it, our next son was born dead. My wife gave birth to my 11th son, a stillborn. That was when I decided to take my destiny by my own hands. Spirits of our land. Gods of our land. Spirits of our ancestors. Gods of our forefathers. Today, 
I, Igor Anye, I stand at a point where four parts meet naked. And I declare that I have not done any evil against any man. I have not forcefully taken away from any man what belongs to him. I have not paid anyone with evil. If I am telling lies, let my sons keep dying at bed. But if I am not telling lies, let my sons live for me. Please do not allow my enemy to succeed in his ploy to deprive me and my lineage, the throne of our ancestors. Gods of our land, gods of our ancestors, gods of our forefathers. My wife, two years to take him after the exercise. But at the fullness of time, today, on a chair is here. He's alive. Yes. Anyway, it pays to do good. Mm -hmm. Anyway, the best legacy on earth is living a pure and a honest life. Mm. With your four Ghana. Okay. Mm. Eat and make men. I have more drinks. More drinks. More food to eat. So eat to your satisfaction. One the chair is here. Thank you. Your brother decided to take his destiny in his own hands by embarking on a more deadly ritual. A ritual that is more potent than the sacrifice you made. What ritual are you talking about? The ritual of the meeting point on the four market days of the week. Eke, Ori, Afo. That is the greatest ritual that has ever been. It is a ritual done by those whose ends are clean. It can neutralize any other ritual. Ah, well. <clears throat> you know how ambitious I have always been about this throne. I prefer losing my life than to lose this throne. Ah, well. Do something, do something. Is What do you want me to do? Agua, you know what to do. I want the boy dead, even as we speak. It's a man, you know. Oh, boys, they go shatter and I want you know. Miroke. It's a man, no one. Oh, you know, me, one. One, one, juve. Oh, you know, me, one. One, you juve. Miro. Miro. It's a question I would do as you wish. But be rest assured, I have no hand in this. This blood will be upon your head and not my head. On this ground I stand, I swear. Let the blood be on my head, on my children's head, on my children's children's head. Gods of our Lord. May no evil befall this one. Iwe, nothing shall happen to your son. 
you see. Yes! Nothing shall happen to him! Onoche will not die. As long as he was born alive, as long as he breathes till this moment, he shall not die. He will. Yes. He cannot die. He, he will live. My son is alive. He cannot die. Doctor! If it is bad news, better keep it to yourself. All I want from you is my son! Where is son not here, my son? Uh, uh, doctor, were you able to do anything? We are waiting, talk to us. Oh, yes, I'm itching. Oh. Well, he died before they got to the hospital. I tried all I could. We tried everything we know to revive him. But it all proved abortive. God's forsaking us. No, too late. The gods has forsaken us. Sorry, my husband. <laughs> I'm so sorry I've disappointed you again. <laughs> I'm sorry, please, my <laughs> dear. No, you didn't disappoint me. You did not. You gave me a son. You gave me honor to hear my son. But that, which has vowed they never let go, didn't rest. Even after everything I did to make him leave. Now it is clear to me that a man of many sorrows I am, I was destined for so many troubles. Hey! <laughs> Sit down, my queen. Sit down. <laughs> Sit down. My king, Igwe, my brother, what am I here? That my nephew is dead. As a question. As a question, my brother. Our joy has been cut short suddenly. Hi! <laughs> Has been taken away from us. <laughs> we are now as empty and as sorrowful as we used to be. I Are you 
Anita. Please, I want you to sleep with me tonight. My heart is broken. All your brothers that came before you, they all left. They left your mother and I. Even though Nochi and everyone was happy that he made it alive, suddenly he left like his brothers, like a splash of the light. At this, my heart is broken. Your father is a man of many sorrows. I'm sorry, Daddy. Thank you, my daughter. Please sleep with me tonight. Please. So my brother couldn't survive the death of his last son. Hey! Dead. How wicked can you be? Taking father and son the same day. How? I saw the pain all over him yesterday. He couldn't bear it. Ndoka, you are very right. A great king has gone. There is none like our king. We only pray that his gentle soul rests in the bosom of the gods. The gods are wise. Indeed, they are. The Iroko has fallen. Where is the little princess Adele? Where is she? Yes, that reminds me. Adeze! Adeze! This girl will be Adeze! Adeze, you don't put me into more trouble. Adeze, where are you? Adeze, where are you? Hey, what are you doing here? I've been looking for you everywhere. I've been looking for you everywhere in this palace. Hey, what are you hiding there? I was afraid. You were afraid? Afraid of who? I, I saw him. You saw who? I saw my uncle. I saw him killing my father. Listen, listen, look at me, my princess. Don't you ever, don't you ever utter this word singing from this mouth. Did you hear that? Do you want to put us into trouble? Please, don't say that again, okay? Don't say anything. Okay, let's go, okay? Let's go. 
Let's go. Don't worry. You'll be fine, okay? Don't say that again. Don't say that again. You Did you hear me? Don't say that to anyone. Mother, mother, you were so scared of death, but you still lost your life barely one month after your husband was killed. Mother, your mysterious death is not a mystery to me at all. I am very sure that they are the one who snipped life out of you just to silence you. So that they can complete the tax they have started. But one thing I, I don't know, one thing I am not sure, I'm, I'm so concerned about is your silence. Why are you keeping silence in the life beyond? Why are you not doing something? Now what is rightfully mine is, is being taken away from me. Your daughter is about to get married to the Prince of Umu, the Manzi Kingdom. And I, the legitimate Princess of Umu, Zome Kingdom, is left with nothing. Father, mother, is this how you two are going to be silent? Are you going to allow me to continue to suffer like this for the rest of my life? Mother, please do something. Mother, please do something. I'm begging you. I am tired. I am tired. I'm tired. Yes. My princess. Hey. Move, 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 move here. Look at them looking like butterflies. Cross over. Move. Huh. Where is a daisy? I haven't seen her. Am I talking to humans or goats? I said, where is Adese? My, my, my princess, we don't know where she is. You don't know? My princess, I, I saw her leave the palace gates, but I wouldn't know where she went to. There is nothing you bunch of idiots knows. The only thing you know how to do in this palace is Eat, sleep, and gossip. Look at them. Looking like principalities and powers. Rubbish. Immediately she gets back. Tell her I want to see her. Do I make myself clear? Rubbish. <laughs> What is this? Princess is angry with you. With me? She's been searching for you since. Why? You left the palace without telling her now. Is that all? She said she reports to her chamber once you come back. Thank you. Lame brother. She reports to her chamber when she come back. One day you will give somebody BP in this palace. Did the way she just dragged me. I thought some, somebody has died in this palace. Every smut and everything they'll be doing in this palace. Woman my name mad. Let me collapse before my time because I'm 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 working in this palace. If you people kill me, you do everybody will rest. And my soul will rest in peace. Oh my my soul rest in peace when you want to pass up in this palace, my soul can because you step on the set in this palace. How dare you, my princess? Shut up. How dare you leave your duty post? Hmm? Shut up! That is the problem with humans. You think anytime you say sorry, everything becomes right. You went out of this palace without informing anybody. You think you can just wake up one beautiful morning and do anything that suits you without any form of constraint? 
Do you remember your position in this palace? If you don't, I will give you a soft reminder. You are nothing but a mere palace maid. You are my slave. You have no right to your own time, to your own space, at your own will. You won't do anything until I ask you. Have I made myself clear? I just do that. You just want stop talking when I am talking. Sorry for your silly self. Now listen to me. You will go out there, kneel under the sun. That is your punishment. You won't rise up from that spot until I ask you to. Are you still standing there staring at me? Wait, sorry, ma'am. Shush away from here! Get away! Look at her looking like an overcooked earthworm. Rubbish! Why must I marry from Umozome Kingdom? And why must I marry the princess? You don't seem to like them, do you? I haven't said that, father. So why the question? You don't seem to understand me, father. Maybe I don't. Father, there are lots of beautiful girls right here in this kingdom. Why do I have to travel hundreds of kilometers to a particular kingdom to marry from a particular family? That is spiritual, son. That is divine. It is sacred. We may not know why because we grew up to meet the ordinance. But the least we can do is to follow it up as handed down to us by our forefathers. It is said that in every fourth generation, the prince of Umwezemazi must marry the princess of Umwezome kingdom. That is how the gods have made it and that is how we have kept it till this very day. But times have changed, father. Isn't it time we question these ordinances and heritage, especially the ones we don't know why they were ordained in the first place? Isn't that why you sent your children to school? We are royalty, not commoners. We should be the custodian of the culture and ordinances and not the ones fighting it. Son, I wouldn't want us to discuss this any further. Get ready to visit your bride tomorrow. But father, I... Oh, this discussion is over. Nobody wants to listen to your point of view. You must do things their way. 
Come on. Don't I have the right to ask questions? Especially with things that concern my, my life. This is my life we're talking about here. It's my marriage. It's my marriage, goddammit. It's, it's my life we're talking about here. I have every right to ask questions. Shelly, I am sending you with my son. He knows nothing about the culture and the tradition. You are to be his guardian angel. Make sure it doesn't slip his feet or his tongue. Is that understood? Yes, Your Majesty. Trust me, I will take care of this. I trust you. Where is he? Send someone to his room and call him. We don't have all the time in the world. Let me look for one of the guards to do that, sir. They've passed about it. Thank you, Your Majesty. Please, Carrie, hold this one. <laughs> easy. Easy does it. <gasps> easy? Easy does it. What the hell is wrong with you? You want to strangle me? Sorry, Get please. away, you. Shush away. Mm. Rubbish. Can somebody just tell me how beautiful I am looking today? My princess, huh? you're very beautiful and all bland. Oh my goodness, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> my princess. Yes, darling. Beautiful is our understatement. You look so beautiful. Oh my goodness, thank you. But next time you add the word Gorgeous. Say gorgeous. Gorgeous. I want to see your veins. Gorgeous. Oh, God. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Zay. What do you have to say? My princess, they have said it all. They have said what all? Hmm? I am asking you, what have they said? Can't you say something beautiful in your own words? Can't you give me a praise make me feel like a princess that I am? Was I the one who asked the gods to take the throne from your father and hand it over to mine? Was I the gods who killed your parents? Hmm. Listen, it's a happy day for me. I do not want you to get me upset. You will do yourself well and behave like a normal human being. Do I make myself clear? Sorry hmm? for your dead parents! My princess. Yes, my darling. Oh, that's Baby elephant. Witch! You are not keeping your leg warm. What did you say? What did I hear you say? Octopus. Baby octopus. Yes, go on, darling. My princess, hmm. whether she says it or not, it makes no difference. Your beauty radiates like the morning sun. My goodness. Kum because has favor. No one can come. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. What nonsense did you just spit? I asked, what nonsense did you spit? I, I asked again, what nonsense did you spit? I was praising you. Praise your dead parents and your godforsaken life, maid. <laughs> yes, you were saying. My princess, hmm. whether she says it or not, it makes no difference. Your beauty radiates like the morning sun. My goodness. Come because has favor. No one can come. You see you? You must definitely make heaven. Thank you, my princess. <laughs> Go ahead. Don't let this witch touch me. 
Oh, that looks so beautiful. Gosh, how did God create me this beautiful? In the morning. In the morning, right? <laughs> We were choking, we choked to death. Which? <laughs> and as for you, you smile so much. You don't join the train. Tell Orochi she will go with us. You stay back you here. With us, you stay back here and smile to the boss. <laughs> go back, back! It's not tight enough, back! 